Ena iwi, ena reo, ena rangatira mā, tēnā koto, tēnā koto, tēnā koto katoa. I've greeted you in the language of the indigenous people of my country, Aotearoa New Zealand, greeting the people, the tribes, the language, the chiefs. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Equator Prize. A wonderful audience here from across the spectrum, government leaders, indigenous leaders, our sponsors, our development partners, communities from around the world. Welcome all and a very, very big welcome to all who are here, especially in New York, not only for the prize tonight, our prize winners, but everyone attending the World Conference on Indigenous People as well. Many, many welcomes to you. Well, t tonight's a celebration, and I, I feel everybody's in the mood for a celebration. And everybody's looking for leadership on climate issues. We all know the threats our world is facing. We know we need action at every level. We have more presidents and prime ministers coming to talk climate at the UN this week than have ever gathered in any place to talk climate. We have the World Conference on Indigenous Peoples, which is talking climate and every issue which impacts on the lives, livelihoods, prospects, and self-determination of Indigenous peoples. And yesterday, what an amazing event with the People's Climate March. It was like old times to see people out on the street like that. But tonight, we honor the people out there on the front lines of local action, the people who think global and they act local, so often working below the radar and against significant odds. And by honoring them tonight, we honor everything they stand for and every community working in this way to do something about climate change and ecosystem protection in every community in the world. We are going to hear tonight how forest-dependent communities in Colombia and Cameroon are managing their local ecosystem. We're going to hear how in Jamaica and the occupied Palestinian territories, communities are managing their agricultural landscape so they keep their biological d diversity, they strengthen their climate resilience and their ability to produce food. We're going to hear so many examples and all of them will inspire us. And I hope the message that goes out is it's so important to back and empower the world's indigenous and local communities to act for climate change. May their action inspire us too to be the change we want the world to be. Enjoy this evening, thank you.